Do you play demons there and want to have the freshest mods in the game? Do you want to defeat your opponent in absolute style? Then you've come to the right place. I'm going to teach you how to install mods on Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles. So here is the tutorial on how to get mods for Demon Slayer. So Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles has mods and I will show you how to install them. The best website to go for this is actually GameBanana.com. Uh, it's actually a very good website to get mods. There are a couple of other uh, websites that feature mods as well, but you can get some pretty good uh, mods on here. By finding this, I actually went to Google and I literally typed in at the top here, Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicle Mods. Scroll down, you'll find the website Nexus Mods. I didn't find any good ones on there though, but Game Banana option here is a very good one. You click on this and you can even go on the Game Banana website right here and then type in the Demon Slayer mods here as well. And then once you've done that, you can literally just go ahead and scroll down to see what you like. So you get the nice purple drip Zenitsu, you can get some like story mode stuff, you can get characters from other games like Deku from My Hero Academia. You can even get the Ninja Turtles in there. But basically you go ahead and choose what one you like and then you go ahead and install it. So I'm gonna take some time to see what one I'd like to add to my game and then we'll, I'll teach you how to install. So I've had a little look and I do like the look of Red Rui. So we're gonna go ahead and go for that one. So here is the page. It'll take you to the main page for Red Rui. It'll tell you who the author who made it is and everything like that. Uh, so you can give them some respect and whatnot. So you basically, you just need to go ahead and find the download link, which will be right here. So you go ahead and do this manual download. It'll most likely take you to another page where you can just literally hit the download again. And then it will download this RAR file. It shouldn't take very long because these files are extremely small. And then once you're done with that, you literally can see that it has a .pack file. I will show you where and how to install this file. So basically what you want to do, you want to go to extract two because you need to extract this first before you go ahead and use it. I always do with anything that I install. And then the one place to go ahead and do that is just, I basically dedicated a place where I put my Demon Slayer mods. So I literally have it in my documents here and then I have it in DS mods. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. And then once you've gone ahead and done that, you'll basically want to go onto Steam here and then go to your Demon Slayer uh, put here. You want to right click here go to manage and then browse local files. This is a very important step here. You're going to see that you have this on the side. This is very important. You want to keep this window open. This is your Demon Slayer game directory. Then you want to right click on your folder icon down here, open up file explorer again, open up another one and then find your Rui download. So for me, obviously I went into uh, documents, DS mod. So basically wherever you extracted it, you basically find it there. So here is my Rui pack. So as you can see, it is a dot pack file. To find the other pack files to put this in on Demon Slayer, you need to go to your game directory right here. You go to APK and then you go to content and then packs. Click on this. This is where I currently have all the mods I have installed for Demon Slayer. So I got my Supreme Drip Giyu that you saw at the beginning, the Akatsuki Zenitsu, and I even have an Akatsuki Urokodaki one. So we're gonna go ahead and then you can drag it in, but that will just move it entirely. I kind of want to keep this here just in case. So you can just copy it and then you can control V or just paste it into the packs uh, folder like so. Go ahead and put that in there. Now you're good to go ahead and close that down. And now we can load up the game and then check out our new mod for Rui. Okay, so we'll go to versus mode here and then we'll go ahead and just go to offline match or something just so I can show you guys this. And then if I go to where Rui is, you'll see that he is now in his nice new lovely black and red drip, a very good aesthetic, a good style for Rui, got the red hair as well. And you can see that it is actually totally playable. I will demonstrate this in the CPU battle. So we'll go ahead here. And as you can see, um, the other characters haven't been tampered with or anything. Like you can still see some of the others are still the same. Obviously, Zenitsu, Giyu, and Arukodaki are modded, but the other characters just stay the same. Oh, I forgot Makamo. I did a Makamo mod ages ago. I thought it looks kind of cool. But the other characters are still mostly the same. For some reason, he still has his other mod as well. But yeah, other characters are still near enough the same as what they should be. But anyways, we can go ahead and pick Rui here. And then we can put him up against the Trip Makamo and Orokodaki team. Got a nice little color theme going on with this one. And I will just demonstrate to you that these mods still work perfectly fine as they should. As you can see, all playable. It just doesn't actually affect the movesets or anything. Now there are movesets mods you can get that will affect movesets and you can get those. 
but in terms of getting those, um, they may they may or may not be on Game Banana. Um, it's just a case of just having a look around on the internet, I'd recommend, and seeing what you can find. But yes, as you can see, here is the mod for Rui. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe, and uh, you know. Anyways, it's been your boy Poison Akami. As always, matane.